I've had so many good days yeah. in the last 11 weeks. Today was not one of them. So you gotta breathe. Good morning guys, welcome to another day in the fry life. Mary and Ollie are, I don't know if you can see this, guys, we sat out on our back porch. We hadn't done that because our lawn furniture hadn't come yet uh, until the movers came on Saturday. And on Saturday night, we sat out here with our friends and I'll show you our, our current little setup. Uh, but we've got our outdoor rug and we've got a couple of chairs and uh, I think we're gonna get like a small table like a dining table um, I don't know but the these are it's so peaceful out here and we sat out here on Saturday night wasn't that just it was kind of like something we had dreamed of of sitting on our back deck with friends and there we were and uh, Mary started her antibiotics she's not feeling great so we were supposed to get together with some friends for dinner and we canceled that uh <laughs> like you're <laughs> nodding and and such that's good okay good so you guys chill out here i've got projects i'm working on <laughs> i'll show you one project that is in the works if you watched yesterday's vlog you know that uh, I was working on repairing. See, it's all repaired, our, our microwave handle. It completely broke off this weekend, and so I had gotten some epoxy and epoxied it. The duct tape is just there temporarily to hold it in place while the epoxy sets. Don't worry, we aren't that classy. Uh, so, anyways, that's done. I am... Um, I've got a couple of Wi-Fi switches that I'm going to be installing today, and I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I'm working on building a bed platform for up on the third floor, so here we go. Okay, I am, I have the wood that I'm going to use to make the bed frame, but I think I'm going to stain the pieces first because I'm going to have to, normally I would build something and then stain it all. Uh, once it's built, but I'm gonna have to assemble it all upstairs because as we know I can't make The turn with a full bed frame. That's why I have to build one up there So I'm going to stain all the pieces and then I'll assemble it upstairs. So Here we go Okay guys, I have been, uh, after I uh, worked on the bed frame a bit, um, I stained the wood and I'm gonna let that dry, leave it for a project for another day. We actually do have a guest coming on Thursday. I have a preaching conference in the area this weekend and a buddy of mine's coming into town and staying with us while uh, during the preaching conference. So. Um, hopefully I can get the bed done up there by then, but we've got that other guest bedroom set up, so either way, but I'm trying to think, I, Mary's upstairs working on her medical closet, I just put up, um, one of her IVIG organizers, and I think she's got pretty much the closet almost completely organized, so that's, we'll have to sometime soon have her give you a little medical closet tour. But uh, I'm just laughing at this microwave. 
I think that the, I got, I think it's called JB Weld uh, Epoxy. I think it said it would be set after an hour, but I'm just gonna leave it until we need to use the microwave just to make sure it sets completely. I, I did some Googling and people recommended this, so we'll see. Okay, the big test, we just took the duct tape off. May heat up some pizza. Ah. It worked. We'll see, hopefully it holds up, but. Feels good, good awesome. job, babe. Hey, hey, hey. All right, guys, it is evening and Mary's not been feeling well tonight and most of the day just, um, her lungs, I think she's got a lot of pressure in her head and headache and everything going on. So we've kind of had pretty much a low key evening and uh, look at the nice cabinet lighting. I'm glad that, that turned out. And uh, Ollie and I have uh, been chilling and Oh, one thing at a time. That's kind of like as we get the house set up and discover more projects like microwave handles and all that. Uh, you just got to do one thing at a time. And I felt like today was good progress. I do want in the next few days to get the working room set up so that we can relaunch all of the the entirety of our online store. Right now, just shirts, sweatshirts, apparel is available in our online store. But uh, in a few days, hopefully by the end of the week, we'll have the store, um, Mary's paintings and uh, merch that we ship from the house. Um, we'll have that available soon. So stay tuned. Uh, let's go check in on Mary and uh, Guys, thanks for being part of this journey of life with us. Uh, this is, I don't know, I, I, I think, well, I know. I'm, I'm so grateful that you guys are, have come along on this move with us. And for us to have this little window, this little lens that we are able to speak into every day and share just a little piece of our lives has made in many ways this move is given a, a little bit of continuity because so much is different in our lives as we've moved down here to North Carolina. But one thing that is constant is that we're vloggers and we share our journey and we love doing it. And we love that you guys choose to tune in and hang out with us. So let's go upstairs. Hey Ollie, where's Mary? Where is she? Is she up there somewhere? I'm gonna lay down. I found her. He knew it. Was yeah. Sick, he? You couldn't fool him. <laughs> oh, how are you, sweetie? Um. Today was rough. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Pushing through it and. She even, in the midst of it, organized her medical closet, which we're gonna save for another day to give you guys a little tour, but here's a sneak peek. Peter! What? You gave him way more than a sneak peek. <laughs> actually, it's not done, so I guess it doesn't even count. I mean, I, I feel like it's gonna be, it's basically professional medical organization with Mary, because, You've got a lot of experience with organizing medical stuff. It was funny. I was thinking, like, I wonder if we should, like, hire an organizer to help me with this so I can make the best use of this space. But then I thought, no, because they don't know. They don't understand the what you're organizing. Well, like, or the method of, like, the, the feeding tube bucket needs to be easily accessible but the extra IV supplies can be on the top shelf so I'll just right. be my own organizer I guess you're you're but a pretty good organizer I enjoy that sort of thing yeah it's fun but I definitely felt like a 
it felt like a pre-vertex day, I'll say that. Mm. I just like, I've only had a few days, well, I guess I can't say that, but I've had so many good days yeah. in the last 11 weeks. And today was not one of them. And um, do you feel like it's harder um, mentally because you? What's he doing? Oh, he's covering his eyes. Oh my gosh! Oh, there he goes! Oh. Guys, did he do it? Turn off the lights. Yeah, he's covering his eyes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How is he so cute? Uh, but um is it harder mentally because I'm my I'm more used to feeling better? Yeah. Is that what you were gonna say? Yeah. Um honestly, no, not right now. Mm -hmm. Because I still just feel like I don't feel that the the feeling good is guaranteed mm -hmm. so it's just like I'm having a bad day and this used to be like half my days right or more than half I don't know yeah but I guess it's just a bummer but I still made the most of today and yeah I just ultimately like I'd get up and go do something like I worked in that closet just a little bit and then I was like, oh my gosh. It was just like, it's a combination of head pressure, mm -hmm. which was mixing with the feeling of nausea. Mm. And then like headache, like headache, it started on the left side of my head and then it was on the right side of my head, whatever. But then it just totaled by a feeling of like, I need to curl up. So I was curled up on the back porch for a little bit. Then I was curled up um on this bed and then I was on the floor and you know like yeah I just I kept like migrating but I yeah I did get a lot done in that closet and it, it's not about like what did I get done today that's right not. right but it does help me think like I'm thankful I got that stuff done I guess yeah um well guys Thanks for coming yeah. along on this and processing the good days and the hard ones. And as, as always, always, we'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, good night. night. And good night, too. Oh, you're covering your eyes. You're so cute.